We strongly condemn the Islamic Republic for its barbaric implementation of stoning, execution, and torture. From the U.S. to Germany and through internet postings worldwide, outcries against the imminent execution of Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani, a 43-year-old mother of two convicted in 2006 of committing adultery in Iran. Already sentenced and lashed 99 times, a judges panel re-examined Ashtiani's case and decided she should be stoned to death for her alleged crime. Human rights activist Mina Ahadi, herself forced to flee a death sentence in Iran almost 30 years ago, has taken up Ashtiani's cause. She says there is still hope that Ashtiani's sentence could be overturned, but that it will require the dedication and commitment of activists worldwide. Legally, it's all over. We have no chance. It's a done deal. Sakine can be stoned at any minute. But we have experience again and again that when we organize events worldwide, when we protest worldwide, and in particular when we contact European governments, and these governments put pressure on the Islamic regime in Iran, sometimes we have a chance. There's been no government comment on the case. Her family says Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani has now been in prison for five years, even though she retracted her confession, a confession her family says she was forced to make. In an open letter to the international community, Ashtiani's children, Farideh and Sajad Mohammadi Ashtiani, plead for their mother's life to be spared. Today we stretch out our hands to the people of the whole world. It is now five years that we have lived in fear and in horror, deprived of motherly love. Is the world so cruel that it can watch this catastrophe and do nothing about it? We resort to the people of the world, no matter who you are and where in the world you live. Help to prevent this nightmare from becoming reality. Save our mother. We are unable to explain the anguish of every moment, every second of our lives. Words are unable to articulate our fear. That fear that their mother will be stoned to death before they are able to clear her name. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, Atlanta.